meet Mark Brown. Mark is a national Clover POS system cash advance and credit card processing integration advisor to business owners of retail, quick service restaurants, and service-based businesses, and one of the most sought after advisors in the Clover point of sale and payment processing industry, who has coached some of the leading business executives in the small business market. Mark is the creator of three ways to cut credit card fees and authorized to provide services to business owners throughout the United States and Canada. Mark has been selected as a premier agent of payment processing industry leaders such as Card Connect, Rapid Advance, Palmetto Payments, Clover Point of Sale, and is endorsed by top business owners of retail, auto repair and maintenance, medical facilities, spas and salons, mobile, online based, and quick service restaurant businesses. Ornsock is guaranteed to make your business more profits with Clover, says Thomas Blackwell, author of The Liberty of Our Language Revealed and founder of SayDoAchieve.com. As founder of the industry leader Ornsock, Mark has amassed over half a billion dollars in processing volume and is one of the most in demand payment processing Clover point of sale providers. As someone who has built a highly valued business from scratch, Mark is an in-demand and sought after Clover POS cash register system and credit card processing integration advisor and has created massive profits for thousands of business owners. Mark is an industry leader, lead advisor, sought after business owner, and highly paid solutions provider to top business owners. Introducing Mark Brown. Hello everybody, my name is Mark Brown. I am founder of Orange Sock and we are Payments Made Simple. I am with you today uh, about our podcast, uh, Orange Sock Payments, uh, Payments Made Simple. This podcast is for three major benefits to your business. One is for the credit card processing. Two is for point of sale systems, businesses, sales, and marketing consultation and sources. The credit card processing world, we'll be talking about face-to-face transactions, online transactions, mobile, telephone order, as well as integrated payment systems and how knowledge on these systems will help you and your business cut costs, put more time back in your pocket. Point of sale systems, we'll be talking about Clover, how to use it. Other point of sales competing um, with Clover. The point of sale systems will have mostly to do with retail, restaurant, mom and pop locations, and restaurant that's gonna be quick service as well as full service. Spas, salons, auto business, health and wellness, medical and dental, as well as nonprofit organizations, online or mobile businesses like food trucks or fulfillment services. As far as business consulting and sales services, uh, we'll be talking about how you can overcome financial challenges, organizational, operational challenges, marketing and sales challenges your business might be facing. All of these things have to do with payments, payments going through point of sale, additional services through payment providers that can benefit your business and add uh, additional resources that will help your business grow and overcome challenges. This podcast will cover all those things that will serve all the businesses that we've talked about. Something that I really enjoy doing. Uh, Other benefits that you'll get out of this podcast is that you'll learn how to get your credit card processing fees low. You'll be able to understand more about the process so that you can negotiate better rates, know what products and services are best for you and your business and how you're going to be processing payment transactions from your customers or partners. You will also learn how to get the right point of sale for your business, uh, whether that be Clover or other providers, whatever's best for you and the things that you're looking to accomplish. We'll go over a lot to do with Clover and tips and tricks and things to get your business making more money with Clover which is something I really enjoy. The biggest problem with Clover is Clover. It's provided by people who could be doing more for a business, showing more opportunity of how to use this to make cash. And I would say seven out of 10 businesses I walk into that have Clover don't use it right or to its potential, or they don't like it. The reasons why they don't like it are almost always training. They don't know how to use it and they're not using it to the fullest of their potential or they've been missing for what I'm going to help do for you is clarify that clarify quickest ways to cash when to get it when not to get it when it's not a good fit for you and how it's going to help you when you want to and choose to make extra money through marketing dad data and all the other features of Clover and other point of sale systems. I'm going to show you how you can use that to your advantage to help your business grow, cut costs, and become more efficient, get more time and money with things that matter more than money. You're also going to get firsthand knowledge from industry leaders and experts. We'll be doing co-hosts and other shows with people, such leaders such as Andrea DiCarlo, who is a restaurateur, Thomas Parker, who is an entrepreneur, restaurateur, and also in the film industry. 
We'll be interviewing Jan Wolf, a certified health practitioner, founder of Elderberry Apothecary and Herbalist, one of the leaders in her industry. We'll be talking with Dawn Eskins, founder of Carolina Cupcakery and seen on Food Network's hit show, Cupcake Wards. We'll be interviewing and co-hosting with some great talents that will help your business with tips and insights on how to combat the industry's challenges as well as point of sale challenges, benefits to knowing what's available in the market with credit card processing. So you always make sure that you're keeping the most money you make, cutting down wasteful processes. You're always getting better, always making more money. So if you want to do that, um, that's what this podcast is going to provide to you. We'll be running through four different series throughout the year. And the first series is going to be on Clover and that point of sale on other point of sales. Uh, the second series will have to do with sales and marketing for retail and restaurants, service-based, uh, appointment-based, auto, medical, dental industries, the credit card fees and how to avoid them, the Card Connect First Data and the payments POS industry. So look for those upcoming series coming up after Clover. And with all that intro into this podcast, let's get started in our first episode. Look forward to it. Welcome everybody. Today's episode is going to be on new Clover Cash Register POS system and how it benefits you. We will be covering a couple major topics. What is it? What does it do for you? How does it Clover work? Uh, the different products of Clover. We will be talking about the Clover Station, the new Clover Station coming out. We'll be talking about the Clover Mini. We'll be talking about the Clover Flex, the Clover Go. We'll be talking about how the, these products benefit you. We'll be talking about um, what this means for your business to have these available to you in the marketplace. We'll be telling you about upcoming new products in the market that are coming soon. Clover is a all-in-one business management solution that combines business operations into one. It helps to simplify it and run your business, it gives you tools to do so. Clover is off of an app-based platform. It's built on Android proprietary system and works with their hardware. The only exception to that is vendors listed as IVRs, independent vendor resellers. IVRs are allowed to use only the hardware of Clover while using their own software. One of them is Bypass, who takes care of the Seattle Seahawks Stadium, all their concessions in the 12th Man Stadium, the NFL uh, Seattle Seahawks. What does Clover do for you? Well, Clover opens up all types of payments and ways of taking orders and payments, improves your business's efficiency, and helps you connect with your customers. Clover's hardware product suite is made up of five basic devices. You have the station, the mini, the mobile, the Clover Go, wireless, and the flex. There's a lot of businesses out there that would benefit just like yours would from owning a flex. So let's go into the different features of these different products of Clover. Okay. So the station makes it easier and faster than ever to run your business using one device. Built-in capabilities allow you to simplify daily tasks, speed up transactions, engage your customers, accept all types of payments effortless, effortlessly. Something to note is this is the older version, new versions coming out soon. I'm gonna do not have a release date, but it will have integrated chip acceptance. A thermal printer that comes with Clover will have a customer facing uh, LED screen so they can see totals and whatnot for their payments. It will also add the ability for contact payments such as Android Pay, Google Pay, Apple Pay, and so on. This uh, device comes with a patented swivel so that it interacts, allows for e-signature capture with the customer. So it works like this, take the order, boom, boom, boom. Hey, thank you for your order. Hope you like it. It's a good cupcake. And that should be coming soon. I will be offering an upgrade version for all of my merchant partners who are on the VIP program where they can trade this in for their full investment value towards an upgraded device. And I'm going to guarantee that to all of my merchant partners who are on the VIP program. Be sure to ask your provider if they're allow an upgraded option or a trade-in option, which we provide all of our merchant partners. The new Clover Station will have an expanded LE, uh, high definition display. Next up is the Clover Mini. The Clover Mini is Wi-Fi enabled and 3G capable. It accepts a pin debit. One of the only devices that accepts pin debit on a touch screen. It does chip as well as contact payments. It has an integrated receipt printer in here and where it can print out receipts for the customer. This will work independently as a cash register 
point of sale device for retail restaurants and more. It can also work with another mini tethered side by side. So one will face the customer and one will face the business owner. A great way to cut costs in moving into a POS system. A third option is to have this face the customer the entire time and have a keypad for merchant facing for great trend. This is a great setup right here is great for uh, businesses that are used to the credit card terminals where you just swipe and go. It's a great way to add chip, become PCI compliant, uh, never have to do an update or a download ever again, have no monthly fees uh, for running a POS system, open up the options for adding marketing and all the other apps of Clover, which is in the hundreds with a device like this, which is cutting edge technology for a very inexpensive option, hassle-free, done for you, never gonna worry about it ever again, capture payments offline, Wi-Fi, 3 I mean, you don't want to worry about credit cards ever again, and you just want to keep it simple, you should be looking at this option. It will benefit your business greatly. It can work side by side with a station. With the new stations coming out, the need for this might uh, have some more questions now uh, because the main purpose initially was for the chip, the on-screen pin debit. So I'm still waiting to hear back from uh, Clover on whether or not the new stations will accept pin debit. I don't know that for sure as of yet. I'm waiting to hear back, but as of now, this can tether with the station. What's that great for? It helps your customers process fast. You get a line out the door and you want them to move through quick. Clover Mini's running three, like it's about 3.7 second transactions for chip. It's very fast. It's because they control the whole process. First Data owns Clover, First Data owns the uh, Card Connect. And because of this uniformity, everything seems to run just a lot faster. The technology up to date, I don't know if it's platform based, but what I'm most interested in is the speed of transactions. And in this setup where the Clover Mini is facing the customer and the station is facing the business, it's powerful. It's one of the fastest ways to take chip. It offers more security for the person buying so they have a better buying experience. It decreases the likelihood of fraud so you keep, keep your business more secure against chargebacks and fraudulent use of cards in your, in your business so you're not paying a loss on that. That is about it for the Mini. The Clover Go wireless works off a Bluetooth connection to your phone and an app downloaded on your phone. It used to be only available for Android and now is available for Android as well as Apple. So you can find it on the App Store. The Apple version releases a recent release and it's great. So now it's going to expand that ability to a lot of people. The app also does not auto decrement on inventory. So this is great on the go, not when you're handling larger amounts of inventory, but great solution for weekend sales events. If you want to add this to your what you're taking in your brick and mortar, that's a great addition. This has the ability of being extremely inexpensive and the provider even may have the opportunity to zero out all additional fees that could be incurred by adding this to your uh, to your business's ability to take payments. So working in tandem with this, like so this inside your store and this when you do events on a weekend. And Clover Go Wireless does do chip, all wireless, all contactless payments. Being wireless, great solution for people with cases on their phone who not always will have their phone immediately beside them when they conduct a transaction. Um, this will work around nine to ten feet away from the device. So you can and it even has a Apparently, I got rid of that one too. Uh, but it looks like that. Oh, nice. What it does is sits in the docking station at the back here. The casing comes off. And then it sits inside the docking station right here. Just like that. What that does for you is that you can have this docked sitting at the front of your counter while you can run your business from your phone. You take a transaction, put an amount. This is a very simple way to get payments up and going. Yeah, you can set it up on a flat rate that's less expensive than Square and funds you faster. Perfectly, it should be an option to any provider. Uh, let me know if you have any questions on what you should ask in getting set up. I can point you in the right direction with that.
And the last thing I'd like to talk about is the flex. It allows you to scroll inventory, check out customers, enter your orders, collect your customer's e-signature receipt. It has a built-in printer with a barcode scanner. So flex really provides you that all-in-one solution that you might be looking for. Great for food trucks, on the go, businesses where they're just constantly moving around, whether within the brick and mortar or mobily. Extremely inexpensive for the technology that it's giving you, which is cutting edge. And you can find some information about that on our website. So check us out in the links below. With that, we're about wrapped up. We talked about the Clover Station, the new one coming out, the Clover Mini, when its applications are best, the Clover Mobile, Clover Go, Wireless, and the Clover Flex. Look forward to showing that on an upcoming episode. Our next episode is going to be on the Clover product suite. So we're going to get more in depth about the station, the mini, the new station, the Clover Flex, the Clover Go. We're getting more in depth to these products so we can show you if this is a good fit for you and what things would help you avoid some common mistakes with investing into a Clover POS registry device. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and our website at orangesockpay.com. I'd like to leave you with a final quote today from Golda Meir. Make the most of yourself by fanning the tiny inner sparks of possibility into flames of achievement. Make it a great day and I will see you guys next time.